This is a young patient having a history of eye trauma followed by cataract surgery and uh, multiple glaucoma surgery procedures, uh, including a bevel drainage uh, tube, who developed uh, lately bullous keratopathy and was seeking now for corneal transplant surgery. We decided in this case for a DSEC procedure instead of DMEC, having in mind the presence of the tube itself in the arterial chamber and also the extended um, synechia between the iris and the cornea on almost 360 degrees, so the angle was was completely uh, closed. Um, we performed a standard ultra-thin um, uh, dissect. Uh, we measured the diameter uh, of the graft which uh, will be implanted. Uh, after epithelial removal, uh, we inject air in the arterial chamber in order to detach uh, the synechia in the angle that you just saw highlighted by the yellow um, arrows. We can do this um, under air with a spatula with gentle uh, detaching maneuvers, but the air has the tendency to, to go out through the paracentesis, so eventually put an um, um, anterior chamber maintainer. And we continue to detach the synechia in both sides of the eye uh, under BSS. Now the angle is completely uh, open and we go to the next step. Under air, we started to perform the decimetorexis using um, a reverse uh, Sinsky hook. Um, again, the air has a tendency to uh, go out, but we continue to do the decimetorexis under BSS. One can choose to inject uh, OVD in the anterior chamber, but uh, I prefer to avoid using OVD in all lamellar uh, procedures in order to be to have a safer attachment of the uh, of the graft. Um, I managed to um, remove the decimet in one single piece. We perform now the peripheral iridotomy at 6 o'clock. Uh, this should be done as peripheral as possible uh, to avoid the, um, uh, the pupillary block after we inject the air at the end of the surgery. And now with the fine VR scissors, we cut the end of the um, bevel tube, which was too long, um, coming in contact with the pupil and with the iris and deforming the, the pupil. Uh, the dissect lamella is prepared in the OR using an artificial anterior chamber and with the help of the busing light we inject it um, in the anterior chamber via 3 millimeter limbal incision. Now it is um, already in the anterior chamber with an air bubble under it. Uh, we suture the, um, the incisions and uh, now by gentle massage we centered in the final position the dissect uh, lamella. We leave a pressure of about 30-35 millimeters at the end of the case uh, and we check the eye after one hour. Third uh, day post-op, the lamella looked nice, completely attached. The cornea looked um, transparent with uh, minimal edema. The pupil still presented a bit of deformation, but the anterior chamber was free, was uh, of normal depth and the angle was completely uh, opened on uh, 360 degrees, both on slit lamp and on the OCT examination as well. You can see the very thin attached lamella in the third day post-op and uh, the distance from the tube to the graft, which was quite a safe distance. This patient had a very good uh, outcome now uh, two years after the surgery. Thank you for watching.